large picture. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My name is Katie, and I am a first-generation college student and a single mother of two sons. I just finished my first year at PCC, where I maintained a 4.0 GPA every term. Thank you. And became a member of Phi Theta Kappa. I am grateful to come to school every day. Even when the content is hard or the lack of sleep leaves me exhausted, I'm still excited for every class and the opportunity to challenge myself. My oldest son, Miguel, is 11 years old. He just started middle school, and he loves Minecraft, reading, and being a Boy Scout. He's also an amazing big brother. My youngest son, Francisco, is three and in preschool. He loves cars, bubbles, and gives the best hugs. It's important that I mention my children, because whenever the staff or faculty have given me support, they have, in turn, helped these sweet boys. To us, PCC is more than just a school. Christmas presents and the food pantry through the ASPCC, free tickets to the zoo and clothing swaps through the Women's Resource Center, or support services like Sisters in Strength have all been a blessing to my family. A year ago, I was lost. I felt worthless, and broken. Being unable to make a livable wage made me feel like a failure. It was like I was drowning, and no matter how hard I worked, I was still being dragged down. I saw no other future for me than continuing to work multiple minimum wage jobs and never getting my family above the poverty line. My outlook changed when I came to PCC and enrolled in the Transitions Program. <laughs> the director of the transi Transitions Program, Jenny Christian, I can't even, I can't look at you, I'll cry, I can't, has been and continues to be the vo most vital supporter of my success here at college. Her compassion and belief that all of her students have the potential to accomplish great things are just a few reasons why she is such a wonderful educator. After completing transitions, I won a competitive, I won a competitive legislative internship through the ASPCC. Thank you. And for two terms, I worked at the Capitol in State Representative Diego Hernandez's office. Yeah. Emma Calloway, Stephen Arthur, Becky Washington, Rob Wagner, and Nick Payne were the PCC legislative team. Stephen and Emma were always available to give guidance and encouragement throughout the entire process. Emma showed me the importance of strong representation at the Capitol, and it was a privilege to watch her champion on behalf of PCC students. Through my internship, I was able to help on projects to better our community, and it was motivating to see politicians like Representative Hernandez and others partnering with community organizations to make social change. For my work as an intern, I received the Denise and Robert Frisbee Award and even attended my first gala as their guest. I had the remarkable opportunity to testify in the Higher Education and Workforce Development Committee alongside PCC President Mark Mitsui uh, regarding creative solutions for low-income student parents, like myself, to complete their academic goals. It amazes me how much President Mitsui cares about the success of all PCC students. I am honored to have received three separate scholarships, and now I have my sights set on winning the Ford, so fingers crossed. <laughs> I look back on this year, and I have done things that I never dreamed possible. But I did not do it alone. I would like to especially thank teachers like Jennifer Hensley, Jenny Christian, Jimena Alvarez, Lori Ingberg, Libardo Mitchell, and Kauki Durst for making their classrooms welcoming environments 
and for the passion that they bring to every class. I hope that all of you know that what you do is more than just a job. Each of you has the incredible ability to change lives and inspire students to thrive beyond measure. Because of you, I am proud to be a part of Portland Community College. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you.